All right, guys, so today in this very room, we are going to show you how to build an affordable home golf simulator. And then when we're done, we're gonna tear the whole thing back down, pack it up and send it to one of you guys. This is our biggest dollar amount giveaway on the channel yet. So stay tuned, because later we're gonna show you how you can enter to win. In the meantime, let's get everything out of the boxes and get started. All right, so first things first, we've got the entire room cleaned out. Except for this beautiful plan. All right, so as Mike starts getting everything ready to open up the boxes, one thing I wanna say, we talk about affordable. I understand that that is all relative, but when you think about some of the simulator builds out there, which will cost north of $60,000, something like this actually is quite affordable. Now, OptiShot does offer different levels of their golf in a box system. So what it really comes down to is choosing the right one for your budget. Now, in a recent video, we showed you a very simple build that you can do using the same technology and hitting into a net. Now here, what we're gonna show you is a more immersive feeling where we're actually going to have a screen and the image projected on the screen. So in that realm of looking for an immersive golf simulator experience, the price tag on what we're gonna show you today, like I said, is actually quite affordable. Now, let's get these boxes opened up. All right, now that we've got everything opened up and laid out here on the floor, I wanna quickly run through and show you guys everything that comes in this golf in a box for setup, all right? So, you see a couple things here, not too complex, doesn't look like it's uh, too intimidating when you look at everything laid out, but first thing we have is the actual technology itself. I'm gonna to talk to you about that in just a second. Hang on, we'll talk about that more. Here is the pad where you're going to stand and it creates the turf. It also has an inset here where the technology is going to sit to make it flush. Then over here we have effectively everything we need to create the sim box. That's what you're gonna be hitting into. So we've got the poles, the connections, uh, and then here are two important things. First is the screen, and this is very heavyweight material. Uh, so this is gonna be there so you can actually absorb a real golf ball. I mean, just take a listen to this. That is some heavy stuff. And then this is the side and the box. Here too are a whole bunch of these connections which are going to hold that to the poles. And then lastly over here we've got the projector and we have a projector box so you can mount it different ways but if you're gonna mount it in certain ways you may need that box there to protect the projector. But that's pretty much everything right there. What is not included is a computer. You will need a computer. I've got my computer there. Fairly simple. Like I said, not too intimidating. In a second, we're going to start putting everything together. All right. So one thing I want to talk about is the actual, we call it the brains of the system. So no matter what simulator you get, something is going to need to measure either the club or the ball or both in order to effectively determine where that ball is gonna go. So something that ultimately, if you're gonna, whether it's practicing or, or playing in a simulated golf course, you need something that's going to measure. So each simulator is going to be different in their function, uh, but this one, the OptiShot, it's this. Everything is contained right here. It is actually, it's a heavy piece. It, there's a lot of technology in here, but the most important, the workhorse is gonna be, here you'll see there are two rows of sensors, one behind the ball and one in front of the ball. What those are gonna do is they're going to measure the club face as it comes through the ball. After it measures the club face going through, it's going to use that information in order to determine ball flight characteristics that you're gonna eventually see on the screen. So these are measured measuring at high speed and it measures as it goes through. One important thing is it's measuring the club, not the ball. So if you're in a limited space where you can only use a foam ball, that's okay because you will still end up getting the same result. And there are ways in the system that you'll ultimately be able to calibrate this a little bit better to your swing. But again, this is it. This is the brains. And if you watched our other video, you can see that really all you need is this and a computer and something to hit into. In our case, in that other video, it was a net. And that would be really all that you need in order to uh, create a simulation. Now, we're after a little bit more of an immersive experience. When we talk about a golf simulator, you wanna feel like you're there. That's why in this video, we're gonna be building out the box that we're gonna hit into, the screen that we're gonna hit into, and the projector, which is gonna project that image large. But for this piece of technology itself, 
This is the OptiShot 2. It costs on its own about $399, and you are getting a lot of technology for that price. So if you are on the other side of this where you're super budget conscious, like I said, you can buy just this, hook it up to your computer, and as long as you've got a safe place to hit, you're good to go. In this build, that $4,500 price tag that Mike had talked about earlier involves a lot of the other components, especially the big surface that we're gonna be hitting into that box which we're going to put together here in just a minute. But this is the brains, this is the workhorse of the system, and you'll see more of that in just a moment when we get everything plugged in. All right, so how do you want to set this room up? Where do you want to put this thing? Well, we definitely need a little bit of distance to swing. So our distance from the screen, point of impact, and where we're gonna strike. And of course, like we, like we learned in, in HQ, we gotta have that room behind you. So. I thought this was gonna be a problem, but I don't think it's going to if we go this way. I think our, our stance mat's probably gonna be somewhere around here. And even the biggest club won't even come close to that. So I said we put everything that way. So real quick, we laid out all of the framing bars by size. And one thing I'll tell you is that they all are very sturdy aluminum. So they're light but sturdy. And that's what you want if, like I said, if you're gonna be hitting a real golf ball into this. So now it's just a matter of using all of these connectors to make them to the appropriate size for the box. All right, we won't subject you to all the snapping together. Cue the time lapse right now. All right, so the frame is up, and what I will say is make sure you enlist somebody to help you because some of these segments are longer, but overall, it took us maybe 20 minutes with two guys just to pop this all together, but hey, if you enlist the help of someone, you know, the bartering system, because they could be one of the first people to use the sim, That's right? Good point. Exactly. So the next thing would be get the black tarp that goes around and creates like the kind of enclosure. And then the last thing is going to be to put the actual screen up, the white screen where the image will be projected. So that's next. All right. So now we're just getting this black tarp over top. Again, it's easier with two guys, but pretty simple. I think the hardest part is gonna be folding it all back up to send it to one of you guys. Oh, I didn't wanna hear about that. <laughs> all right, so as part of this enclosure, the next thing is gonna to be to put this screen up and attach it to that tarp, that black tarp. And what we use is a whole bunch of these to get it attached. And there's some Velcro that you can do to make it tight and seamless. Here is the uh, screen itself. And like I said, it's heavy, heavyweight material to absorb that impact of a ball. And that is also where we're gonna be projecting the image itself from the OptiShot simulator. All right, so for two guys with the experience level of maybe putting together an Ikea chair can do this, then you guys can do this. And it took us about 20 minutes. Again, two guys, it is much easier to do with two people. One thing you'll notice there is uh, still, you'll see some creases and stuff from shipping. You know, over time, obviously that will smooth out just from hanging. But so far, uh, pretty good. It is a nice size enclosure. It does feel, give you a lot of confidence that you're not going to break anything. You've got a big target to hit at. I gotta sure. say, that screen is durable. Wow. That is a heavy screen. All right, so actually the frame is the bulk of the work. When it comes to actually setting up the technology in the mat itself, that is super simple. So very simply, the technology sits into the mat here and you plug, it's a one USB cable that goes plugged into the uh, the strike board or, or where all those sensors that I described earlier are. And then that goes into your computer, which is what's gonna run the software. You download the OptiShot 2 software and it runs from there. One major thing I wanna show you is the projector. So here is where it's going to really vary depending on your setup. This is in a lot of ways, you know, it is golf in a box, but it is something that you can tweak to fit your needs. So you can mount the projector above your head or another thing you could do, and this is why if you've got a, what it's called a short throw projector, uh, it's the best for this application. What there is is this little box here that can actually sit in front of where you're gonna be hitting. The projector sits in there, and then we use these covers to cover it up. And if you do that, the projector's in front of you and you don't have to worry about blocking it. In our case, just for our setup, what we're using right now, we have the projector set behind us. We've got it set on an angle so that it's we're not blocking it. Now, 
That's also because in five minutes, we're going to tear this thing back down and like I said, send it to one of you. If we were doing this in a more long-term application, we would probably mount the projector up above our heads out of the way one time and you're done. But the projector, super simple, is connected to the computer via an HDMI cable. And like I said, the computer is connected to the OptiShot 2 with a USB. So it is two cables. It is a simple system, guys. And if you are worried about too much light in either the room you're putting it in or outside, quick little hack, come with me behind the back. Unfortunately, I only had light gray, but some bed sheets. You could probably even get a tarp. Imagine you got a black tarp. You just clip it up there, it'll create that extra darkness behind. Keep all the light out. So when you first open the system, it is going to prompt you to calibrate. I can't stress how important this is because obviously it's gonna read, each club is different. So just run through the calibration process. It's super easy. Basically, you're just gonna take a couple swings over the sensors and it'll tell you when it's calibrated. You calibrate all the clubs in your bag one time and then you're done. You don't need to do it again, but do the calibration, trust me. Is this the moment of truth? I think this is the moment of truth. So we're on the range here. The system does have a number of different courses that you can play. And there also is a multiplayer aspect to it, which we'll get into more. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that because we're gonna do some competitions because we do have the OptiShot Vision system in our uh, office. So we'll be able to play with you guys a little bit. We should play a heads up match against the winner of this competition. We should. Let's give it away. All right, let's see it. Oh yeah, we're playing golf in the house. <laughs> I love golf it. Golf in the house, oh. baby. Hi. Yes. There you go, you got your club speed. Um, you'll be able to see your face. Like we talked about before, these sensors are measuring that face, so you'll be able to see your face angle. And obviously it's measuring club speed as it passes from one sensor to the next. All right, and we are using foam balls because that's what's gonna come with it. You yes. can use real balls if you'd like. This screen is built to take the impact of a real golf ball. So like I said, it's, it's really your preference for your space. And if my, if my wife catches us using real balls in my living room. We'll just tell her we're using foam balls. Okay. So again, the difference right here is we're creating more of an immersive experience. You look at this and you're like, this is a legit simulator. When you tell your buddies, come on over, I got the sim set up, this is what you want to see. Mm -hmm. So like I said before, if you are on that lower end of the budget, you can purchase just the OptiShot, the actual technology, the pad itself, for around $399, hook it up to a computer. And what you'll see is this, you'll actually see exactly what's projected on that screen, just on the computer. But when you want that more immersive experience, here it is. And like we said, affordability is key. This entire setup, and this is no joke setup. You saw the aluminum bars, the heavy duty frame, the, uh, the heavy duty screen, which is gonna absorb the impact of that ball. That's really where you're getting your money's worth. So here's that Sam, like I said, $4,500, but for $4,500, you've got a legit simulator right in your house, your garage, or, or like Mike said earlier, wherever you want to put it. And of course, the last question a lot of you guys are gonna ask is of course about accuracy. If you're gonna spend this kind of money on a sim, you want it to be accurate. And I'll tell you what, hitting a seven iron right now, looking at the numbers, it looks spot on to not only what I'm feeling, but what I'm used to seeing in the other sims, Mike. All right, guys, now we are gonna break this whole thing down and send it to one of you. So how do you enter? Click the link in the description below. Good luck, you're gonna love this sim in a box. Frank, you ready to take it down? <laughs> Thanks, guys.